All right, welcome back to our unit on maps. Okay, remember, pause this anytime you need a little extra time. Please do not skip ahead and listen. All right, so our unit is on maps, and our topic today is latitude and longitude. Okay, almost every map on it has latitude and longitude coordinates. Okay, so day one of three, we're going to know the difference between latitude and longitude lines these imaginary lines, and we're going to learn how to plot latitude and longitude coordinates, okay? All right, so here we go. Quick write. What are latitude and longitude lines, and what are they used for? What are some things we use maps for? Have you ever looked at a map? What sort of things did you notice on the map? So for five easy points, answer one of those in a good two or three sentences, please. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and pause this if you need more time. Okay. All right, so locating points on Earth's surface. At some point in your life, you may have heard of latitude and longitude lines. These lines are used to pinpoint a specific location on Earth's surface. Many maps use latitude and longitude lines so that important places and locations can be found on the map. Okay, geez, what's the importance of that? So... You may have even heard of GPS or Global Positioning Satellites. Okay, well these satellites operate on latitude and longitude coordinates. Okay, so Google Earth, okay, is also based on latitude and longitude coordinates. In fact, you can type in a latitude and longitude in the Google engine, search engine, and it will take you right to it on Google Maps. Okay, these coordinates, these latitude and longitude coordinates are measured in degrees, okay? And they're, remember, these are imaginary lines, okay? So, for your notes, go ahead and pause this. How do we locate points on Earth's surface, okay? Or, for that matter, on maps. So, question on the left-hand side, answer on the right-hand side. Use the answer bank to determine which word best completes the sentence. Record these words in your answer bank. Go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. Okay, so latitude and longitude. The Earth is divided into lots of lines called latitude and longitude. Okay, as we kind of discussed. So we have latitude lines, right? And these are horizontal. Okay. And we have longitude lines. And these lines are roughly vertical. They go north to south. So, latitude lines run east and west, and these lines run parallel to each other, okay, and measure distances in degrees. The equator is at zero degrees, okay? So, the equator here splits the Earth in half, essentially, okay? So, right down the middle of the Earth, okay, it's at zero degrees, and all latitude lines, remember, notice they run parallel to each other, north and south of the equator. Okay? So, what are latitude lines on your notes? Question on the left-hand side, answer on the right-hand side. Use the words in the answer bank to best complete the sentence here. Make sure you write everything down on your notes. Go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. Okay, so longitude lines. Longitude lines run north and south, okay? And these lines run through the north and south pole and measure distances in degrees, okay? The prime meridian is at zero degrees, once again. Remember, the equator goes horizontal, and that is at zero degrees. Well, for longitude lines, we have an imaginary line called the prime meridian that runs at zero degrees, and it runs right down the middle here, okay? So notice something here, the prime meridian right down the middle. Okay. This imaginary lines, line runs through the United Kingdom, England, if you will, France, Spain, Western Africa, and Antarctica. All lines also run parallel here to the prime meridian. Okay. So, the world here. So, if we, we have the equator here in red and the prime meridian here in yellow. Okay. And notice, all the other lines are in degrees. And they run parallel to the equator or prime meridian here. All right. So for your notes, what are longitude lines? Okay. Question on the left-hand side. Answer goes on the right-hand side. Okay. Use the word here in the answer bank to that best completes 
a blank here. Okay, go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. Okay, hemispheres. You may have heard of hemispheres, hopefully, before. By using the equator in prime meridian, we can divide the world into four hemispheres, north, south, east, and west. Okay, so if we slice the Earth down the middle here with the prime meridian, we get the western and the eastern hemisphere. And then if we slice the world in half here, we have the northern and southern hemispheres. Okay, so we have the west and eastern hemisphere. We have the northern and southern hemisphere. And we have the northwest, southwest, northeast, and southeast. So we could also kind of break the Earth up into four parts. So what are hemispheres? Go ahead and pause this while you write this down. Use the answer bank that best completes the sentence here. And I'm going to move on. Okay. You, yeah, you want first half? Okay. So on your notes, tell me the location for Sacramento, California. Okay. The star here. Give me the coordinates. The latitude. Okay. Notice something here. When you use latitude, you want to record it north or south of the equator. So, is it 20 degrees north or is it 20 degrees south? Okay. And is it okay 100 degrees west or is it 100 degrees east? So, be specific. Okay. Because you could be talking about another place over here. So, write down on your notes the latitude and longitude for Sacramento, California here. Okay. Then, when you're done, okay, check your answer here. Hopefully, you got something close to that. Okay. North of the equator and west of the prime meridian, right? So, 40 degrees north of the equator and 120 degrees west of the prime meridian. So, now, Darwin, Australia. Okay. So, tell me the latitude. Is it 20 degrees north of the equator or 20 degrees south of the equator? Okay. Go ahead and do this, and I'm going to show you the answer here so you can check your work. But write these coordinates, write the latitude and longitude coordinates on your notes first. Okay. So, hopefully you came up with... 20 degrees south of the equator and 140 degrees east of the prime meridian. So we're on the eastern side of the prime meridian. Okay. All right. We're going to do two more. Okay. Let's do Lima, Peru. These don't fall exactly on the lines here. So be careful. Go ahead and record the coordinates, the latitude and longitude coordinates for Lima, Peru. Okay, I'm going to put up the answer. Check your work. Okay, don't just copy mine. Think about this because it's not going to help you on the test. So, hopefully you came up with about, about somewhere close to about 10 degrees south of the equator and 70 degrees west. So, 20, 40, 60. Okay, so right about here, 70. Okay, all right. Now, Mount Everest. Try doing Mount Everest here. The tallest mountain in the world. What is the latitude and longitude for it? Okay. Do this on your own, on your notes. Record the latitude and longitude coordinates here for Mount Everest. And hopefully check your work now. Hopefully it didn't take you too long. Hopefully you came up with about 30 degrees north of the equator and 80 degrees east of the equator. Okay. Hopefully you got these right and you're getting the gist of it because there will be uh, latitude and longitude coordinates on the test. All right. So summarize. What is the difference between latitude and longitude? Why do you think these lines, these imaginary latitude and longitude lines are important? What are the four hemispheres of the Earth? The blank runs zero degrees east to west and the blank runs zero degrees north to south. What are some different types of transportation companies that may rely upon latitude and longitude lines? And then, why do you think maps use latitude and longitude lines? Okay, go ahead and pause this. Your summary box should be filled up, all right, for 20 points. A lot of people need to do these. It's good to reflect back. It's the best way to learn. Use the answer bank if you need them, okay? 
If not, you should hopefully know how to fill these in. All right, so go ahead and complete your summary. Thank you for doing this, and we'll see you next time for day two of three. Have a good night. Oh, pause this, please, while you write.